Now, let's have a look at number five. Now, before I draw the whole thing, okay, um, let's think about what it means. Just look at this guy. Just look at this guy over here. The modulus of z plus three. The modulus of z plus three, okay? Let's just think about him for a moment. Because we already know, we already know what this guy is, right? So it stands to reason that this is very, very similar. How is it different? Okay. Now, we know what this looks like. We know what that looks like. Okay. What would you guess that looks like? How would it be different? Hmm. So if I wrote this with the x's and the i's, right? like that, okay? Hmm. This 3, right, is a real number. It's a real number. So really, this whole complex number has like this whole bit here, the x and the 3, as there, that whole bit is real, right? Do you agree with that? So what this really is, is um, instead of x plus i y is equal to 5, right? Sorry, mod x plus i y. It's really mod of x plus 3 plus i y is 5. Do you agree with that? Okay, oh, now think for a second. Remember I said this is going to draw on all your knowledge of graphing already, right? If I ask you to compare something like, say, y equals x squared, which you all know what that looks like, and y equals x plus 3 squared, that's, that's like the difference here, you see that? Well, what's the difference between these two guys? Same shape translated 3 units to the left, right? 3 units to the left. So this is a circle, radius 5, center origin. This is also a circle, radius 5, center at negative 3. Negative three right? That's where it's gone. Okay? So what this really means, when you look at something like this, right, this is not the distance from the origin. This is the distance from the origin. Okay? This is not the distance from the origin. This is the difference, distance from, what was the center of the circle again? The center of the circle is negative 3. Okay? So actually, this is something worth putting maybe underneath here. right? Generally speaking, if I said to you, you remember this is the distance from negative 3. This is actually a negative hiding there. Right? So if I said to you z minus w, what's that? Right? Yeah, this is the distance from w. Right? So in fact, a better, a more helpful way of writing this is actually as z take away 0. Look, see, there's the origin. right? Distance from the origin. right? Distance distance from negative 3. Distance from negative 3, distance from... Uh, where is this? Okay, so you got to be careful because there's this minus sign that's kind of hiding there. So let me rewrite this whole line in a way that's a little more uh, easy to interpret. This is the distance from... I've just taken out a minus sign. So therefore it's going to be 1 minus 2i. Two. Two Do you see how there's a double negative there? Distance from there is the same as the distance from there. Do you agree with that? Okay, now this is really cool because I know exactly where these points are. Now we can draw our complex plane. Okay, now negative 3, I know where that is. 1, 2, 3. There he is. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, I'll put a, no, I'll leave that. It's clear enough. I've labeled it. Uh, where is this? 1 minus 2i. 1 minus 2i, right, so, so that's the point there, okay, so if this is 1 minus 2i, I want all of the complex numbers that satisfy this equation, that are the same distance from here as they are from here. Now, there's some easy points that I know, there's at least one easy point that's very obviously the same distance from this point as it is from that point. And the easiest point I can think of is the midpoint, right? The midpoint, by definition, uh, is exactly halfway between those two. Do you agree? But there is, after all, an infinite set of other points that are still the same distance. Where else could I draw one? Yeah, you're going to get... See that interval? I just drew, right? Every point on the perpendicular bisector, right? Like, if you, if you pick out a point like that, you should and just draw it, right? The distance from here to negative 3 is the same as the distance from there to 1 minus 2i. And you can say the same about any other point on there that you like. Right? 
So now I know what it's going to look like. How do I find out the equation of this thing precisely? I could I could like find the like I know I know what this thing is, I find that. Now I can go find the field bisector. That's option one. Option two is as we've been doing for the rest of this, I could just look at this guy and deal with it algebraically. I could do that, couldn't I? I'm not saying it's the best way, but it'll work, right? Um, I won't finish all the working out because you can see this is going to be the modulus of um, x plus i y minus. I'm going to go back to that one plus two i x plus uh, oops, i y plus three. Now, some of you got to this point, and you're like, mm, now what do I do? Well, it's a modulus, right? It's a distance to a point, so you're going to go to Pythagoras, the distance formula, right? You just need the real part. There's a real part x plus 1, that's real, and you need the, that's x minus 1 actually, sorry, x minus 1, and you're going to need the imaginary part, which is y plus 2, that's the distance formula over there, isn't it, right? You're like, oh man, this is going to be a bit gross, right? It is for a second. What about over here? What's going to be underneath my square root? x plus 3. X plus three. Plus, good, good. Now, it does look terrible, but keep in mind, number one, the two square roots are going to go, right? And then, because you've got a monic uh, quadratic here, monic quadratic there, monic quadratic, all the x squareds and y squareds are going to disappear. They better disappear, because I'm expecting a straight line at the end, right? Now, I think some of you have already found, I think it's y equals what, like 2x two, two plus, two plus 1. Gee, that was not a bad estimate. Was it? Okay. So you do need to find, to make sure that you know how to manipulate this, you do need to find y equals 2x plus 1. But clearly you are at an advantage if you thought geometrically and you're like, I know where I'm going. I know what I'm expecting. You can imagine with this algebra down here, super easy to get a sign wrong. It happens all the time to the best mathematicians, careless error. But if you've got this drawing and then the equation you get at the end is 1 minus 2x, you know something's gone wrong. You're like, oh, that's okay. It's clearly not 1 minus 2x, that's going in the wrong direction. Let's reconfigure and see what went wrong. Okay, and then we can fix it. Does that make sense?